these awards are uh, in place to recognise the significant achievements of uh, quite a number of individuals who contribute to the development of the community, to the safety and well-being of those living daily with the multiple challenges and, and in general, those people that we all know and admire for their determination and for their mentorship. These nominations have uh, originated from members of the public and their recommendations have been fully supported by the Othi Indy Foundation and by the Board of Directors. We share with you four truly admirable individuals from the Yongu community who have been the backbone of this region. It's with great delight that we announce the official Gama 2015 Yongu Heroes. Is Balo Palo here? Okay. Yep. Balo Palo. Mr. Wally Wanaranga. Yeah. Balo Palo's going to. Ah. On his behalf. Um, I'd like to uh, call um, Mr. Wunumura to come forward. You read it out here. Yo. A signatory to the 1963 year Kala Bark petition, Mr. Wali Wanangamara, Wanangamara is one of the greatest of modern Yongu leaders. As well as displaying his own style as an advocate, he has been a trusted, confidant, of many Yongu and non-Yongu leaders who have for many years turned to him for guidance, advice and wise counsel. Born of the Dalwangu clan, he is a ceremonial leader of high degree and a man of fierce loyalty and vision for his people. As a young man, Mr. Wanangmara attended Methodist Bible College in Brisbane and became an educator and a teacher of Ye at Yekala. He was a bridge between two worlds for young Yongu people and provided a pathway for many who have gone on to play their role in the life of our nation. With an independent mind and a willingness to listen, Mr. Wanangmara has served with distinction as the chairman of Lanapoi Homelands, the Ambirpa School Council, and from 2007 to 2013, the Northern Land Council. His homeland is Gurumuru, and his special totem is Waran, the diving cormorant. He is the 2015 Garma Yongu Hira. I would like to say a few words and just to thank everybody that have att attended this uh, ceremony. And I would like to say thank also to the people who have supported me so greatly right through my lifetime. Thank you all. Chief Minister. So he's going to present it. You're going to read it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I call on uh, Dana Yanapingo. 
This dynamic young woman is the retail manager at the Gopal Community Store. Donna is a mother and full-time employee. She has firmly grasped her position of responsibility and has shown great flair for many of the aspects of managing a place that is now identified as being a central gathering point within the Ganyangara community. Donna is responsible for operating the Gopu store on a daily basis. She manages staff orders, the store's finances, and staffing timesheets. She has been identified as a leader from within the community, and if ever you have a chance to visit the store, you'll be greeted with her friendly smile. A standout attribute of Dana's personality is her willingness to accept increased responsibility. She has a great capacity to adapt to matters newly introduced within her immediate workplace. Dana has been in her role since July of 2013, when the store was first opened. And we hope to see Dana continue to strive in her position for years to come. Dana Yunapingo. Ms. Joan Jamalaka Damarandi, who is currently in town, and uh, Melanie Hardner uh, from UAC will accept on her behalf. Melanie is here? Yeah? No? No, this is not Melanie. You don't look like Melanie. Ah. <laughs> Yo. Joan Jamalaka Damarandi is a senior Yongu elder in Galawinku, Elko Island. She is the manager of the Miwach Health, Nalkanboy mental health team, and a strong advocate for access to community controlled best practice mental health services in remote communities. Jamalaka commenced work as a registered enrolled nurse in the Government District Hospital in Nolanboy in 1979. She was the first Yongu nurse to work in the hospital and the first clinician to be able to talk with patients in their own language. In 1981, Jamalaka returned to her native home in Galawinku and commenced work at the Nalkanboy Clinic on Elko Island. There, she has taken a broad approach to elements of the clinic program. And in 1996, Jamalaka took on the management of the Galawinku mental health team, delivering its emotional and social well-being program, managing duties above and beyond her call of duty. Joan is a very active member of the Royal Australian and New Zealand College of Psychiatrists, being a member of the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Committee since 1996. She is called upon regularly to attend and present at various colleges conferences, both national and international. In 2015, Jamalaka was recognized for her leadership and managerial experience with Miwa Health and was promoted to a partnership clinic manager position at Miwa Nalkanboy Clinic. She has won several accolades, including the Miwa Health Director of Public Health Award. Congratulations to Jamalaka.
Sorry, everybody. Um, I'm not Mariko. She can't be here. She just asked me to say that she was very surprised, very honoured and very humbled to receive this award. Thank you. And now, Ms. Rarawai Marika. Rarawai is an ex Diploma College student. Rarawai was one of the first Yongu educators to obtain a teaching diploma. This extraordinary woman is the founder of the Literacy Production Center within the Yirrkala School and has been at the forefront of bilingual education since the 80s. Grandmother to 12, mother of three, and sister to 10. Rarawai is also an acclaimed artist whose work has been exhibited in collections nationally and internationally. Kind and generous to all, Rarawai has literally raised scores of children in her neighborhood. She has been an artist in residence at Trinity College at the University of Melbourne. She has given guest lectures ranging from fine arts to linguistics and politics. In her leisure time, Rarawai's creative talents extend into her garden, and she is often found tending to her favorite plants. Rarawai is a great role model. There's not a time when she hasn't held a responsible position of employment, and day in, day out, she is called upon to tend to the needs of her family and the wider community. Consistent and solid. Rarawai, we thank you for your ongoing and tireless contribution to our lives. You are a true Yongu hero. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for whoever nominated me <laughs> for this award. And also to your Indy for your support to, to, for me to get this special award. And um, thank you, your Indy and the people or person that nominated me. Thank you very much.